All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another fantasy course of the week. The last two videos here on the channel have been absolute bangers, so we have a lot to live up to. I did uh, the impossible challenge a couple days ago, that went up a couple days ago, and then yesterday the Masters finale went up, and both of them were just absolutely incredible. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything, just in case you haven't seen those videos. If you haven't, I highly recommend going checking both of those out. Just, uh, just absolutely some of the best videos I've done in recent memory, I think, and uh, uh, hopefully today... We'll We'll continue the trend and uh, have a, a third absolute banger in a row. You know, I'm, I'm just enjoying making these videos at the moment. I really am. So I've taken kind of, um, I, I feel like I've stopped uploading as much, but I feel like I'm focusing more on getting a little bit more quality into these videos and uh, having that little bit of a hook that really wants to wants people to come back to these videos. And I think we've done a really good job with that. And the channel has been doing great recently. Even the Hound channel, my video, uh, my channel rather, where I do uh, story game videos and stuff is doing really well as well. So playing Dragon's Dogma over there at the moment, playing Tomb Raider, just played GTA 4, gonna do the DLC soon. I'm um, just like uh, having a blast with all of the content that I'm doing. And I cannot thank you guys enough for coming along on the journey with me. Like it, it means the world to me, but enough bullshit enough chit chat let's jump in and let's do this thing tingle creek england let's have it and and you know this has been really really important for me as well uh, to have this um uh, to have this kind of getaway i suppose is, is what i'd call my job um because like i've had a tough uh, tough year to be honest personally like there's been some stuff like uh, i lost my granda who was a huge part of my life he was absolutely an incredible part of my life growing up i lived with them for nearly i think like six seven years i lived with my my nana and granda and he would drop me to golf whenever i wanted to go straight away drop me to golf he'd bring me pitch and putt with my cousins he'd be down in the in the ravine looking for the bloody pitch and putt balls while i while um while i was uh playing with my cousins and stuff like that so yeah he was an absolutely incredible man and he left a lot a lot of great lessons with me um, that I'm going to take through the rest of my life. But I did want to mention the course as well. We should probably talk about the course a little bit. Tingle Creek is the course that we're playing today. Tingle Creek, England. I saw it in the trending page, and I think I saw the Coxer played this course as well. Um, so, yeah, this looks really cool from what I've seen. And um, this first hole is absolutely glorious. Look at this. Flowers on either side of us. A waterfall. I'm a sucker for a waterfall. I absolutely love a good waterfall. Sorry for the long-winded long emotional intro. I just kind of wanted to thank you guys for for having my back these last while this last while cuz um it's it's been really awesome it, it has and i've i've loved every second of it can't thank you guys enough so let's uh let's do this thing 296 let's bang one down the middle of the fairway here in tingle creek england baby that seems pretty good uh, it's a touch fast but this is a gorgeous opening hole it really is just absolutely gorgeous I got the gold monster today. I quite like this one actually. It's like a little um, well done. pineapple, almost like a little bit of a hint of coconut or something there as well, but I like it. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go for a full rather than, yeah, this is a perfect 121 club. With that win, maybe a touch of deal off just so we don't come off the false front if I hit it a touch slow or something, but this should be perfect. Come on, just pushed it a touch. Oh, oh it's so good other than that. It's so good other than that. Great shot still. Great shot still. And look at that view. Absolutely glorious view there. Love to see it. That looks like an old English mansion up there in the background. And we are looking for a birdie on the first. A birdie on one would be a welcome sight here. It would be welcome indeed. Come on, baby. Let's have it. Smashed it. I mean, I hit this way too hard, I think. Oof. I did. Almost got away with it. Very almost got away with it. That should be a par. Good save in the end. We'll take that. Par on one. Not too bad. It's a it's a difficult hole, but it's it's a glorious one to be fair. And this is done by Architect Maze. Um, this course here. It's a beautiful one. And I've played a few of his courses in the past. I think he's had courses on TGC as well in the past. So. Uh, I think I've played a few of them from doing that. I will be streaming as well on Twitch, guys. Twitch.tv slash the Apex on one. Um, if not today, then tomorrow I'm planning uh, to stream because I want to do my TGC Tours rounds. I want to do some more ranked, have some fun. And I did want to say as well that um, 
between April 4th and April 6th. I'm not exactly sure yet on the exact... Don't, don't you dare. I'm not sure on the exact date that I'll be doing it yet, but I will be doing a charity stream here on YouTube. I'm going to be doing a charity stream um, for basically children that are in hospital. It helps get them like gaming equipment and just stuff that generally helps them. Um, so I'm going to be doing a charity stream here on YouTube for that. And I would really appreciate it if you guys would come. And if you have the opportunity to donate, that would be great as well. Um, I'm, I'm doing this in collaboration with... Um, with a with a company gamers for outreach it's called um so yeah I, i'll give you guys more information when i have it and yeah obviously you'll see the live stream here on youtube uh, i wanted to do it on youtube because i feel like i just have more reach on youtube i'm generally streaming on twitch right now but i, I have more reach on youtube and we can probably get more donations doing it that way um so yeah let's uh let's see what we can do here with a little 183 club i'm 20 yards past but 10 mile an hour wind and we have not the best line in the world so i think this could work Ooh. Might get away with it? It was slow. It was big slow, but honestly, not bad at all. Probably a good thing it was slow. I probably would have been over the green otherwise. But there you have it, sunshine. But yeah, I don't know how much of the details I can share quite yet on that, but um, I will have more information on it soon. All right, so stay tuned for that. Getting there. Come on, that's a beautiful putt right like there. And we're into the red, baby. One under par. Absolutely beautiful. That was a great birdie, honestly. We got lucky with the second shot because it was slow. But I really like the kind of English scenic nature of this course here. It's uh, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. This is a glorious par three. You know what? I've been, I've been meaning for a while now to get a hold of one. So I think I might do it, do it here. What better place to get a hole in one than this hole right here, huh? Big slow again? Gosh, that ain't gonna cut it. Yeah. Alright, it's a chance though. Come on, talk dirty to me, baby. Oh. Kinda, I think it was the swing plane more than the actual line that I took. I've been up since 4 a.m., by the way, guys. I had the worst sleep ever, and I was watching the Grand Prix at 4 a.m. So I was, like, waking up in intervals before the Grand Prix actually even started. Uh, I feel like when you when you know you have to get up early, you, like, your body clock automatically tries to wake you up. And sometimes it just wakes you up way too early. Like, I think I woke up at 1 a.m., 3 a.m., and then 3.30 a.m. And I was like, fuck this, I'm just staying up until the Grand Prix now. And, yeah, 4 a.m., I watched uh, Carla Thainz get his third win for Ferrari, which was nice. Um, I like Carlos Sainz a lot. He's probably my favorite driver alongside Max Verstappen. Verstappen obviously had that issue. But Carlos Sainz was, uh, was already past him. I don't know if he had the issue beforehand. I think he might have. Like, it might have been a thing from the start of the race. But there you go. Beautiful 379-yard drive. We'll take that. And we'll hope. I think this could be good just straight up. Maybe a touch aloft. I gotta be careful if this doesn't fly right off the start. That's good. That was the best shot of the day so far. That could be golden. Come on, baby. Oh, yes. Stay there. Come, come back down a little bit. Come. Oh, wow. Really? That ran out that much? I thought it was landing on an upslope almost. I love the little buildings here on this. Like, they're gorgeous. Come on, baby. Good one. No! Come on, Turlock! Right, you bloody donkey! This was a par 5 too? That would have been an eagle? Oh, that would have been an eagle. That's tough to take. Alright, 200 through 4 though, not bad. We'll take it. We'll have to take it. We'll have to accept the things we cannot change. Can I carry this? I'm saying probably not. But I also need to be wary that this could easily go into the bunker either side of it. Just by a small slow. I really love, like, the flowers and the scenery and the houses and stuff on this course. It's great. And they have water on a lot of holes as well. Gotta love the water. That could be absolutely perfect. Is that really going there? Okay. That actually... No, that's gonna be in the heavy rough, is it? I don't think it's gonna stop in time. Yeah, wow. That's Unlucky. Fucked. Difficult hole, though. It's actually a really tough fairway to hit. I probably should have taken three wood there. Like, I would have had a longer shot it. I would have had, like, 200 yards if I took three with, though. But, yeah, I mean, that's better. 200 yards from the fairway is better than this, I think. Like, look at this. This is 
awfully difficult. Um, okay. I'm gonna go 183, and I'm gonna put... No, I think I need to go 193. 193 with a lot of loft and a lot of spin. Make it work. Come on, let's go. Talk dirty to me. Talk dirty to me! Use this slope beautifully, please! What a shot. What a shot that is. I love this top that we're wearing as well. I've had it for a while now. I should probably change it though. Um, or change it to a different round at least. This is just a beautiful golf shot, man. If we can make it... This is a par 5 as well. Back-to-back -back par 5s. And this is for Eagle. Going towards that hole. Yes! Come on, we made up for missing the Eagle putt on the last hole by making one here. Back-to-back -back par 5s here on 4 and 5. And we make good use of them. We nearly make great use of them with two Eagles. But we'll take... A birdie eagle there to get to four under through five at Tingle Creek. And I am the only one playing right now. I'm surprised because I, I put the event up and then I went and did some things. I think my dog lost his dew claw, which um, I had to make sure that that was okay because can be quite uh, dangerous. But it seems like he's completely fine. It's, it stopped bleeding very quickly. I thought it was going to be one of those ones where, you know, the dew claw comes off. It can bleed for ages and stuff like that, but it didn't didn't happen, which was nice. So I don't have to take a trip to the vet. I'll keep an eye on it still, though. Nice swing. Uh, 102 could? No, it's not there. I came too much back. I, like, it was downhill downwind, but it was Well, to be fair, if that was perfect, it would have gone maybe an extra five yards or so. And it would have been pretty close, to the, pretty close to being the right distance. So I'm not going to hate on myself for that one too much. I hit it slow. Come on. I think I've, I've missed it low again. Yeah. Come on, man. Give it a little extra. Give it a little extra, man. A little extra break, I mean. Not pace, because I usually hit them too hard. This is my problem. All right. Four through six, though. We'll take it. Four under through six without really lighting it up, which is impressive. Every hole has just beautiful scenic water views. I love it. I absolutely love it. So you can definitely take the shortcut here, and that's what we're going to do, of course. Because I ain't no bitch. But if you want to, you can be safe and lay up down there. Um, we are gonna go, of course, go for the little gap between the trees there. I was meant to be going to the driving range in real life today, um, but no go. Uh, I played Golf Plus with Respawn yesterday, though. Played Golf Plus with Respawn TV, um, and that was a, a whole lot of fun. We had a blast with it. Uh, it was my first time trying out the new settings on, on Golf Plus, because I was playing on an old dev build that I didn't realize. <laughs> like, um, I was playing on an old version of the game, and I just flat out did not realize that. Um, so that was a bit of a disappointment for me. <laughs> but we eventually, like, um, we eventually figured it out. I was just on the dev build from a TPC Sawgrass build or something. And then, like, we just had a blast. I think we played the new Harbortown course and just had had, a, had fun. I think I shot, like, 24, 24 over. <laughs> Wasn't good, but I was still getting used to the new physics, new swing and stuff like that. I'm going to go for a punch shot here. This might be stupid and crazy, but I'm going to do it. Narrator says, it was stupid and crazy. That might be pretty good, actually. Yeah. It's not going to get up the hill, but that's not bad. Because we didn't have a club. I would have had to make it work with, like, a partial three or something. I'll take this for a birdie, honestly. Yeah, see, if we had laid up and not gone for the gap, you would have had, like, 260 left on a bloody pair of four. And into the wind as well. Is that enough power? Should be. Is it enough? Break! No! God, I've been getting robbed with some of these putts as well, though. Like, they, they look like they're going to turn in, and they just don't for me. All right, good effort. All right, good effort. We'll take it. We'll take it. Four under through seven. Good. To be honest, that's a that's a tough hole. That's almost, like, tougher than the par fives we played. Um, but, ooh, do we have a reachable one? Oh, with that win, we just might, you know. I need to avoid this bunker somehow is the thing. Like, I need to avoid... Oh, I don't know what to do with this one. Like, I could almost go up to the tree here. I'm just going to aim here and hope for the best. That's so bad, dude! Come on! It's a fine layup, but Jesus, lad. Right. Of course, when you have to... Some, well, to be fair, it was somewhat reachable. It was not, it was not like it was going to be an easy shot or anything. I think I'm going to take the 39-yard one and just partial a tiny bit if I can. Like, 98%, something like that. That's 101, but... Still not getting there, so. <laughs> That's fine. All right, birdie putt. That was a poor one. Ooh, breaks right right off the rip. Or breaks left right, right off the rip. Okay. Should be fine to hit dead straight in. 
Bang. Let's go. Come on, sunshine. What do you think of this mustache gang, huh? The beard's gone. Five under through eight, though. Let's get a six under front nine. Birdie nine here. Six under front nine is killer. Okay? And uh, I really... Oh, look. My fellow Irish brethren is up and at him. And he is one under through one. Fair play, Sauce Ornsby. He's actually pretty good, if I remember. So I think he's going to be... Uh, He's going to be catching my score, no doubt. All right, another. Every tee shot just has a beautiful view with some water, lily pads, flowers, something. Like, it's every tee shot is just scenically gorgeous. I think I'm playing an Arctic Fury course here. Architect Mains, you've knocked it out of the park, mate. Glorious shot there. Let's go. 317, down the middle. 45 yards away. Ooh. Okay. I think I can make a 151 work. With that win, just a touch of D-loft. Spin. Watch it. No, watch it. I said watch. Come on, bounce to the right for Yeah, give me a bounce to the right. Come on. It bounced straight up in the air. That's pretty good, though. We'll take that. Really it bounced straight up in the air, but it stopped. Because it actually bounced so high that it just made it stop. But yeah, I want to bring uh, more Golf Plus videos to the channel, especially with this new... I'm going to get the season pass and play all of the new courses and stuff like that. I think if I do one Golf Plus video a week, um, we'll, come, we'll eventually come up to speed and play every course on that game. That's the goal for me, at least. On Physics version 2, I want to play every course in that game. I'm going to buy the 9... A nine euro a month season pass, and we're gonna go from there. Six. Oh, Sauce Ormsby went from one under through one to level yeah, par through three. But yeah, Golf one. Plus like is so fun, man. And I think like I'm playing on pro now. That's why I shot 24 over. I'm playing on pro, which has no assists, no nothing. Um, and it's I feel like it's harder than <laughs> it's harder than real golf. Like I'm not playing as well as I was in real golf, but uh, but I'm also playing like pro professional courses as well. So who knows how I would play. On the professional courses in real life, I'd probably end up shooting 24 over or something as well. Even though I'm playing off like a, a 7 handicap in real life. And that is a very lucky bounce. Or is it? Is it? No, not really. <laughs> it was for a split second, but honestly, not terrible. It could be worse. It's going to be difficult, though. I think I genuinely did hit a pitch and wedge. I know that sounds... Cr oh, it's too much. I'm going to make it... I'm going to make it work. We're going to make it work. Watch. Oh. That's good. That's pretty good. From there, honestly, I'll take that all day. Don't go off the green. No. 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 See you later. Alligator. That's cruel. It was actually a good shot, too. Fuck's sake. All right. Let's try and get up and down for a par. Start the back nine off right. Yeah. Good chip. Really good chip. And that's going to stop right next to the pin. And a tap in par here. Honestly, not too bad considering... Uh, there, we'll take that. That, was a, that wasn't an easy up and down, so we'll take it. Six under. Ooh, Sauce Hornsby now one over. Sauce Hornsby isn't going to challenge me today, maybe. We'll see. Ooh, is this... Oh, this is very reachable. Oh, uh, maybe not. <laughs> Should I fucking send it here? Like, just... Like, send it? I'm going to. I'm going to. Fuck it. YOLO. I'm going to send it. I'm going to partial it a little bit because I do think this is going to go too far. There's a backstop. Oh, this could be the... This could either be terrible or the greatest shot in the history of the game. Please. I'm on my knees. I'm on my knees for this to be good. Keep turning around! Keep coming! Keep coming! <laughs> Baby! Come back! Oh, what a shot! <laughs> What a shot, boys. That is magic. My face, I looked like a fucking donut there. I was like... <laughs> like halfway through, I was like, this is going to be amazing. All right. Amazing it was. And what an eagle! Come on! We're cooking here! We are cooking at Tingle Creek. What a name for a course. I'm going to tingle my balls after that one, boys. Get in there. All right. Ace. Ooh, into a nine mile hour win. I think I can make this work with D-Loft. What do we think? I'm going to make it work with D-Loft. Watch all in one. That's the worst shot I've ever hit in the game. My thumb slipped. Please don't be in the water. Just give me anything but the water. Please. Oh, thank God. My thumb slipped off the stick on the way forward, dude. <laughs> that was almost terrible. Of course we follow up an ego with that. Like, of course we do, man. That's the most, that's the most apex thing ever. Oh, yes. Magical flop. 
Stay there. Stay. Yes. Beautiful, man. Come on. We're on it like you wouldn't believe, son. This one's tracking. Yeah, Scrape Park. Great right up and down to follow up the eagle on the last. It could have very easily been a PEFU. I want to I wanna double digits under power round now. I kind of want to see what Coxter shot. I feel like... I feel like he probably shot like 20 under us. <laughs> I'm going to go check. <laughs> yep, Coxer was 15 under, so probably not going to beat that. <laughs> you never know. Seven under for the next six. You can tie it. Good good place to start with an eagle. No, we touched slow. That I want it to be a touch fast, if anything. Get lucky. Get lucky. That's perfect. What am I talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about. Not me. Okay, we are about this is an eagle hole. All day. All day. All night. Oh, I'm hitting this. I'm hitting this straight up, I think. Maybe a little spin? Because look at the front. It, all we need to do is get it to there. Oh my god, this is going to be so good. Watch. Of course I hit it slow. You dick! You donkey dick eating bitch! Oh, that's so frustrating, dude. Because if that rolls down even a little bit more, if I had, if I had just left it where it wasn't hit that slow, that would have been the best shot I've ever hit. <laughs> God damn it. All right, all good. Sit. 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 Good shot. Birdie, at least. Oh, it's such a, it's such a good eagle chance. I, I just wanted to see what would have happened if it just rolled down that hill. I just wanted to see it roll down that hill and get close to that pin, you know? I love this course, though. I love the, um, like, there's, there's definitely some scorable holes, but it's, it's so much fun as well. There's risk-reward on these, you know? There's water everywhere. Like, I, I can see myself having a big number on one of these holes. I need to be careful of the water there, actually, come to think of it. I'm just gonna hit a little de-lofted, de-lofted fade here, so I make sure I stay away from the water. Okay, that's perfect. <laughs> that's absolutely splendid. Great shot, and that leaves us a. I love it. Like, look at that again. I love this course, man. About 110 yards to go. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the, not too much, but a little bit. Like, I get similar vibes with some of the shots of the farm course that um, Speaking Stones did in PGA Tour 2K21, which unfortunately his courses are lost to the world now. Um, on like, well, they're still on 2K21, but no way of getting them ported over, which sucks. Ah, didn't come in Ooh, at all, really, because right, I hit it fast. But work, okay, uh, nice approach. it's a chance. So you're Depend telling me there's a chance? How about a little birdie here? Come on, why not? Let's get to 10 under immediately. Let's get to 10 under right here, right now! I adjusted and I missed it, man. I would have had that right in the middle if I left it alone. And if my grandmother had wheels, she would have been a bike. Looking pretty good. All right, we got away with the par. We got away with the par. We'll take it. We will take it, sonny boy. Nine under. Ow. Name Eric there. One under. Okay, lengthy par four ahead of us here. I think he just started. He's probably one under through one. There yeah. Great contact. A little slow. Should be fine. Yeah. Great shot. Is this par five? It looks like a par five for sure, but I don't know. No, it's not. No. And good luck with your. It looked like it maybe went up around the team. corner, but not really. Ooh, this is a little difficult hole, though, isn't it? Okay, I see you. Slow. Not that slow, though. That could work. That could work big style, baby. Go, go, chase up there. Good shot. Well, it's gonna be a difficult one, I think. But me, if I don't make this, I should be shot. Somebody shoot me. <laughs> Somebody shoot me. I gave it a little too much break. I don't know why I gave it that much break. Somebody shoot me. Somebody take the barrel of a gun and shoot me. Eric's 200, Eric's 200 through two. At least I'll be finished long before I see Eric's score, so I'll be happy knowing that I, I won't have to deal with that. Uh, he's probably going to go 17 under or some shit. Oh, please be a hold of... Is the backswing? But that's not even like that's not that's an overlapper. It's not even that, that's not even a pullback. That's bullshit. I thought that was literally going to be right at the pin, dude. Oh, that's heartbreaking stuff. Is the last a par five? I think so. I like this course a lot, though. Definitely want to play this one again. Hold it or pushed it rather. Yep, pushed it, missed it. 
Yeah, I'm bottling my chances here at the end, man. I, I easily should be 10 under already. I easily should be 10 under already, man. It's three whole. Is that three pars in a row? Eric's three under three. Yep. I just need to get. I need to get done as soon as possible so I don't see his score. All right, this is a par four, and then we have a par five. I like this hole. You know, just hit a little zinger around that corner. Did I deal off it too much? Yes, I fucking did. I don't know why I deal off it that much. Honestly, I have no idea. Yeah, get a big bounce. I don't know why I deal off it that much. It was actually gonna be perfect yeah, if I didn't. Ooh, we got say? a little backstop here though. A little backstop action. I wanted an entertaining shot out of the bunker. That's why I deal off it. All right. Shit, lie. Really shit lie. I think I need to go one more. Is that crazy? 206? I need to hit a 205 club. No, that is too much though, isn't it? No, I think I'm going to go 193. Why is the lie? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. That's so bad. Yeah, that wouldn't have even been enough with the 205 because... Oh, my God. It got caught up in this. Just fuck my ass, dude. I don't want a 9-iron. Get out of here with that shit. I need a flopper. I need a 46-yard flopper. Here we go. I don't know what this is going to do, by the way. No idea. Go. Go. Ugh. Don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare. Thank you. Fourth. Wow, we are truly well and truly bottling this round. That's crazy. Dog shit. Ooh, oh, I nice suck. I suck. Like, these last few holes have been just terrible. I've fallen apart here. The hot streak has come to an end. Eric, 705! Okay. I wasn't finished soon enough. <laughs> I wasn't finished soon enough. It's 600 yards, this one, but I think it should still be reachable. You suck dick for money on the streets! You idiot! Actually, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, it's not! Oh, that's too bad. Where where is this come from? I suck all of a sudden. Like I was playing so well. What happened, man? What happened? Someone explain that to me. Someone explain that to me like I'm 12, man. Come on, kick left. Nice approach. Calm down. Oh. I was hoping that would go. Today you get to you blew it. You blew it. You. You watching. You. Connor. You piece of shit. You did this. I just got all Connor shook right now. Tingle Creek, England, baby. Great course. Ass finish from me. Like, really, truly an ass finish. I need to have a look at the scorecard here. That was abysmal. Look at that fan. One over for the last five. Ah! Oh, I would have done better than that, but he life, mate. All right. No, that sucks. That sucks. Can't sugarcoat it. That straight up sucks. But thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. It was still a fire video and uh, a great course. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go play some Dragon's Dogma 2 because I'm addicted to that game. And if you want to see me play it, you can see that over on the Hound channel. It should be somewhere on the screen right now. You can click on that playlist and check it out. Uh, or check out one of my other videos here on the Apex Hound channel. Thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys soon. It's been my distinct pleasure to serve you all. We'll be back in the very near future for some more PGA Tour 2K23, EA Sports PGA Tour, Golf Plus, Talk to 2K25, you name it. I'll have you covered here. See you next time. Keep the flag flying. Peace out.